this is our mountain okay i know i'm not it's not looking good but please manage it i mean it's uh, very difficult to draw in the, the virtual board yes yeah. if you okay. said that i will draw it in a copy no no ma'am i can understand no, that is not the factor i can understand okay. clearly okay so well, this is mountain okay and this portion that is this sky color this is magma okay okay so this something looks like that this magma now magma comes out as lava and cools on the surface means the magma mm -hmm. ma'am in the structure the magma is inside the mountain no? yes it is inside the mountain during the volcanic eruption during the earthquake okay this magma comes out as lava got it what i am trying to say in yes ma'am so okay, this is our earth surface okay this black this is the earth surface so see this yellow magma comes out as lava and cools on the surface have you seen it yes ma'am it cools on the surface yellow yes it cool on the surface then only we can say this is extrusive uh, igneous rock got it means the actual means the cooling of the magma yes. is the extrusive igneous rock cooling of the magma is the extrusive igneous rock but when it comes out as lava and cools on the surface of the earth on the surface got it yes ma'am then does it uh, then, uh, then yes obviously that is why it cools on the surface and settles down there and becomes hard and when uh, magma cools off beneath the surface suppose this black color is the earth surface i told you and when it cools down beneath the surface see it is happening beneath the surface this this rock or called called intrusive got it yes ma'am so extrusive means outer surface it is happening on outer surface and extrusive means the no, intrusive okay what intrusive yeah, okay yes ma'am yeah 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 so sure. suppose this is magma okay yes ma'am so when it comes out magma may comes out or or it cools uh, beneath the surface or solidifies there okay anyone can happen so when it comes out it becomes extrusive outer outer part of the earth surface fall extrusive and when this magma cools off beneath the surface it becomes intrusive okay ma'am got it have i cleared yes ma'am okay so so these are the extrusive and intrusive okay so according to the chemical composition igneous rocks are classified into two categories hello yes ma'am your screen is uh, okay ma'am now it is okay now it is okay okay so these uh, these uh, uh, these are the extrusive and intrusive parts of the igneous rock okay apart from this according to the chemical composition of igneous rock they are classified into two categories one is acidic igneous rock and the other one is basic igneous rock okay acid and basic so yes one one uh, one 
rock is uh, called acid igneous rock and the other one is basic igneous rock so let's first let's come to the point acid igneous rock acid igneous rock means they contain high percentage of silica it's a mineral you know silica yes so they contain a high percentage of silica and lesser percentage of basic oxide these are the chemical composition okay yes ma'am so these acidic yes. igneous rocks contain silica that is high percentage and the lesser percentage of basic oxide okay so they are less than they are not them and they are light in color the magma erupted in viscous in nature does it and flows for a short distance before it solidifies okay all these are the feature of acid igneous rock main feature what that it has a high percentage of silica and lesser percentage of basic oxide and they are not in dark color it is it, it has light color and less than okay Okay, and it is viscous in nature and it flows for a short distance before it solidifies we cannot go for a long distance okay okay ma'am if you have any query you can ask me yes ma'am i sure hmm. next basic igneous rock the basic igneous rock are this opposite to acid igneous rock they are dense and dark in color acid is i have told you acid igneous rocks are less dense and light in color and the basic igneous rocks are dense and dark in color it contains lesser percentage of silica and higher percentage of basic oxides like iron and magnesium okay So, what are the components okay. of acid igneous rock? Ma'am, they are less dense and the light in color, and the basic igneous rock they are dense and dark in color, and they yes. contain a high percentage of silica and lesser percentage of basic oxide. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, these are the different. uh types of or we can say the classification of igneous rock first extrusive and intrusive igneous rock these are very important apart from that according to their chemical composition they are divided to, uh, two parts like acid igneous rock and basic igneous rock could you tell me the ph value of acid ma'am please repeat uh could you tell me the ph value ph of value acid? ph okay okay leave no issue okay so i have told you the uh, the definition of igneous rock and their classification could you form <coughs> any characteristics of igneous rock can you tell me um, some yes, characteristics of igneous rock uh, so i can find ma'am they are hard and compact actual the igneous yes. rock yeah and uh, they contain man crystals crystals mm -hmm. and igneous rock they the are main factor is mm -hmm. uh, and they allow water uh, to pass through them mm -hmm. they have a disability they cannot hold the water but they can hold the water as well you can hold the water yes okay. they allow water to pass through them actually they are yeah it is right they are uh, hard compact and massive they are imper uh, impermeable in their structure as they have no pores okay they don't have pores got it yes ma'am and the absence of fossil we can see this fossil feature 
in sedi uh, sedimentary rock, but we cannot see this feature in igneous rock. Fossil is not seen in igneous rock. So the absence of fossil is due to the very high temperature in the interior of the earth. Okay. Due to the high temperature, fossil is not seen here. Got it? Got These it. are the characteristics of igneous rock. So let's move to the sedimentary rock. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So sedimentary rock. Do you have any idea about it? Sedim sedimentary rocks, right? Yes. Ma'am, mm, sedimentary rocks actually are formed by the deposition of sediment or gray yes. from like green or particles derived from the mm. igneous rock. Yes, exactly. Sedimentary. Yes. By the yes. by the name we can get the idea. Sediment. Okay? Sediment. So sedimentary rock forms with the deposition of sediment, grains and particles. Okay. So the, these rocks are formed from the deposition of sediments, which uh, and the grains, the particles derived from the igneous, metamorphic, or other sedimentary rock. The sediments are generally deposited in low lying area. Okay. It um, suppose in the mountainous region, it, okay, there are some sediments, but they cannot stay there for a long time, as due to their steep slope, sediments will fall down from there and go to the plain region due to the gravity. Got it? What I'm trying to say? Yes, ma'am. Like igneous rock, we have seen this this molten magma cools down on the outer surface of the earth, okay, and form this igneous rock. But in the sedimentary rock, we can see that it the favorable factors or favorable area for this formation of the rock is the low lying area. Because it needs time and it needs low lying area just because for the deposition of the sediment. If, uh, if the slope, if there is any slopey region, if the plateau region or mountainous region, okay, the sediments will not stay there for a long period of time. Got it? Yes, During the rainfall, it will uh, fall from the uh, mountain and deposit it in the low lying area. So uh, sediments are generally deposited in low lying areas or water bodies on the surface of the earth. Okay, so these are the two factors or favorable conditions for the um, formation of sedimentary rock: low lying areas <coughs> or water bodies. So the uh, these are brought down by agents of denudation. Okay. Suppose denudation means what? Erosion. Okay. There are some factors in our environment or in the nature which helps in denudation. Like rivers, wind, glacier. Could you tell me how do it helpful in denudation? These agents. This means agents means river, glacier or wind. Means these water body organs. Yes. See, uh, when uh, in the slopey region, okay, suppose uh, there are some rocks or there are some pebbles, uh, boulders, okay. We have uh, got many news uh, in the, we have got many news uh, in television about the landslide, about the earthquake. Why? Because in the mountainous region, the soil is loose. Okay. So uh, during the rainfall or during the rainy season, the, uh, the soil runoff, 
this soil is runoff from the mountain okay and deposited in plain area got it yes sir okay, wait wait let me suppose this is mountainous region okay okay ma'am suppose there are boulders pebbles the different kinds of sediments okay but uh, during the rainy season or during the rainfall these sediments will wash off from this region right yes ma'am and deposited here and deposited here due to gravity right it will yes, not stay there for long period of time just because of water okay so that is what i am saying that rivers help in the denudation process how if there is mountain obviously there will be rivers and there will be water so water uh, wash of the sediments from this region and locate it to the plain area right in the same way wind is also helpful in carrying these particles from mountain region to a plain region okay yes ma'am so so these are the different agents of denudation like river wind glaciers and what and they carry those sediments they help for carrying these uh, sediments uh, moving from one place to another place so they get deposited from one layer on top of another layer got it so with time due to heat and pressure the sediments become compact and hard to form sedimentary rock got it yes ma'am so these rocks are formed in layers or strata strata means layer okay yes <coughs> okay so how does sedimentary rock form okay suppose i am telling you the first process of the formation of sedimentary rock okay okay ma'am suppose this is land okay <laughs> okay ma'am and this is what so eroded sediments end up in the water and begin to settle down here what it what i'm going to say yes some uh, these eroded sediments end up in the water okay as it is slopy region the sediments could will not be able to uh, stay there for a long period of time i have told you so it will washed off uh, from that region and settle down the lower uh, lower region as these are the uh, features of sedimentary rock right it deposited in low lying areas or water bodies i have told you now yes ma'am so the eroded sediments end up in the water and begin to settle down so this process is called sedimentation okay, okay this ma'am is our first process next one is again what has happened again this is our land okay suppose this is our first 
sedimentation. After this, after this, again sediments uh, with the This is this becomes the second layer of the sedimentation. Which time more layers pile up and traces down the lower layers. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes. So more uh, with the help of the time, more layers pile up and traces down the lower layers. This process is called compaction. Okay. Yes. So next, this one is first, second, next, third. So in the third layer, there will be more layers, right? Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, yes, ma'am. <laughs> See, one, two, three. So layers, top layers. Means ma'am layer after layer, right? Yes. That is why it is called sedimentary. Sediments get deposited with the time. Okay. Yes, okay, okay. So more layers means strata and further compaction. Okay, compaction means I have told you with the help of and more layers piles up and presses it uh, presses down the lower layer. So this process is called compaction. Okay, so more layers, farther compaction forces out water from the layer. Okay, thus layers form. A salt crystals glue the layer together. This is called cementation. Okay, so rock rock mass okay. formed sedimentary. Thus, layer after layer, the sediments get deposited there. Then, cool solidifies due to the with the time it compacts. Okay, and it becomes sedimentary. Okay, got it? Yes, ma'am. So these, uh, this, this is the definition of sedimentary rock. So come to the classification of sedimentary rock. Okay. So based on the nature of sediment, their origin, composition, and mode of formation, sedimentary rocks can be classified into three broad categories. Okay. Mechanically and what are those classifications? Means uh, sedimentary rocks classification, right? Yes. One is mechanically and one is organically. And the last one? And third one? Chemically. Yes, chemically. So mechanically or physically formed sedimentary rocks. Mechanically formed sedimentary rocks are primarily formed by physical factors, while the chemically formed sediment rocks are formed due to the chemical weathering. Okay, means mechanic equals to physical. Okay, mechanic means physical. Uh, chemical uh, sedimentary rocks are formed due to the chemical weathering. Do you know what is weathering? Means, what are you saying? I'm saying like like mechanical weathering, it is also called as physical weathering or physical. Okay. So yes, what is weathering? What is weathering? weathering. Mean weathering or of rocks, right? Yes. Weathering of rocks is man, basically the breaking down or dissolving the rocks and minerals on Earth's surface. Yes. Very good. 
to mechanically form sedimentary okay and the physically form sedimentary both are same so mechanically sedimentary forms with the breaking down of rock okay obviously yes. with the denudation process or with the help of agents river like river glacier water all these agents are very much helpful in uh, making in uh, in weathering okay so mechanical form sedimentary rocks are generally break up residues of metamorphic and igneous rock okay these these rocks are very much helpful for formation of metamorphic and igneous rock so metamorphic and igneous rocks are mechanically broken to sediments got it metamorphic and igneous rocks mechanically broken to sediments to be eventually deposited in a basin for example sandstone shell okay this shell become slate okay slate we have written on slate now this shell are the this shell conglomerate sandstone are the example of mechanically or physically formed sedimentary rock yes ma'am got it yes ma'am next organically formed sedimentary rock okay okay ma'am um do you give any example of sedimentary rock mm, no ma'am i guess no that we use in our daily life we used to we used to like coal coal is formed for a long period of time okay and with with uh, need yes yeah, sandstone are also there and coal is a very really good example of the sedimentary rock so this form yes limestone yes limestone sandstone shell okay these are these rocks are formed mechanically okay okay ma'am and coal is uh, a good example because coal has uh, coal formed with heat and compression okay Okay, so i will draw this diagram then you will get to know about the different types of coal and how does it form different types of coal coal means like there are four types of coal na uh, yes what are those and okay. i just i remember uh, any of them hmm. Wait, ma'am. Just give me a second. Anthracite. And there, anthracite, okay. bituminous, subcumulus, and lignite. Yes. Or coke. We can say peach coal. Okay. So this yes. coal has formed with this sedimentation. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Next, organically formed sedimentation rock. okay so organic sedimentary rock form from the accumulation and lithification of organic debris such as leaves roots and other plants or animal material okay so uh, when these uh, organic debris like leaves and roots these these uh, melt into the soil okay this process is called lithification and they uh, with the help of with the time it get uh, deposited layer after layer got it so rocks that were once sandy sediments or peat beds contain carbon as black soft and calciferous hello ah uh, yes ma'am are you doing something or are you messaging something are you texting someone no ma'am actually not mm -hmm. okay so rich enough in 
so these organically formed sedimentary rocks are rich in carbon to burn a like coal is an organic sedimentary rock i told you these are Means organic sedimentary rocks what fire right they will quickly catch fire what they will quickly yes because they are rich yes. in carbon na yeah they are rich in carbon so that is a widespread important this is a widespread important fuel source as we know coal is very essential resource for our for us bioplastic limestone silicon limestone are also typically organic sediment rock but usually group with the other limestone as being precipitated uh, and these are the technically organic sediments it is quite true but it is also grouped with the other limestone so when when it um, mixed with the other limestone it becomes chemically precipitated or it becomes chemically formed sedimentary rock okay wait um Oh, of course. This is three. So, leaves, animal. If animal uh, will uh, die, their dead body. Okay, residues will. first uh, uh first of all these leaves these leaves uh, roots and other plants material all these are accumulated here okay these are yeah. organic debris these are all accumulated here so this is our suppose this is stagnant water ha huh? stagnant water so all these are accumulated here and with the help of liquefaction of organic debris this layer has been formed okay we can say this layer this layer is called organic matter organic matter a peat okay peat coal we have i think you have uh, heard about this coal peat so peat has formed in this layer in this first layer or get due to with the help of organic debris or organic matter this first layer for our form this first layer is formed and uh, this layer is helpful for peat okay okay ma'am next one again i have told you the sedimentary rocks means layers after layer means this was first layer and with the help of heat and compression this compression this helps the lower down the lower layers okay presses down the lower layers see these, these are sediments these are sediments okay and i the first one first one is the peat so these are peat layers okay got okay. it this first okay. layer this first layer here it is first okay this black both black both black are the first layer okay again it has formed a layer and this layer presses down the lower layer okay so this um, layer become when when uh, the first layer uh sedimented there with organic matter then only it is called organic matter and peat when this layer is pressed down by the lower layers so it becomes compressed peat got it compressed peat because it compressed has been compressed peat. by upper layer yes it has been compressed with the upper layer right ha uh, yes ma'am 
that is why it becomes compressed seed okay again the same process will occur again there are two layers it becomes three two okay. layers become three means i have told layers after layers it will increase with layers first diagram contains one layer with the organic matters or debris leaves got it the yes, first diagram yeah. I, have, i have drawn so first one contains only the leaves uh, plant leaves animals uh, material whatever so that is composed uh, that is composed of this organic debris so that becomes the organic matter and seed so in the second diagram this uh, 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 organic matter or seed compressed by the upper layer so it becomes compressed seed and in this one is the third diagram now these two layers are pressed down by the upper layers right yes ma'am so, so the third one becomes the sedimentary rock okay and the first layer this coal becomes lignite coal this lignite coal okay we have told the types of coal so it becomes the lignite coal okay okay ma'am so when they um, it get more when this layer compressed by more layer like this this uh, layer comp uh, compressed by more layers then it becomes bituminous coal this layer becomes bituminous bituminous coal is very high quality coal okay because the more the layer get compressed that we can get the higher quality of rock oh, sorry coal have we got my point more the layer compress we get the higher uh, quality of yes. coal right yes um, there was one layer when i draw the first diagram there was one layer okay they are not compressed by other layers or upper layers they, they are free they there are only the debris fall in on the um, crust okay there is nothing so that is so then peat coal was formed okay and peat is not a good quality of coal okay so when that uh, um, soil sorry when that layer is compressed by other layer it be compressed peat okay not high quality but it is compressed peat and to me that so these are the different organically formed sedimentary rocks that these types of rocks are formed got it yes ma'am okay sedimentary rock chemical means with the name we can get the idea about the chemical chemically sedimentary rock means there will be a mixture of chemical obviously so chemical sedimentary rock formed by the precipitation of minerals from water okay mm, minerals when from water the rock yes when the rock is without water it is happening or it is denuded denuded 
with the agents of re, uh, river glacier. But when this type of uh, chemically formed organic rocks are formed, it formed with the help of minerals from water. Precipitation means what? Is when dissolved materials come out of water. Suppose there is some water. Suppose there are some chemicals in the water. And when this is dissolved, it comes out of water, it becomes chemically. They are typically made up of minerals like, like calcium chloride, rock salt, and gypsum. These are the chemically formed sedimentary rocks. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Um, so these three are the classification or we can say types of different sedimentary rocks. Now tell me, uh, coal comes under which formation? Chemically, sedimentary, or mechanically? Without seeing any notes, so we don't see good. Okay, let me think, ma'am. Can you give me some time? Oh, yes, oh. yes, yes. No problem, no issue. Mm. Take your time. Then I mean, the coal forms uh, through the plant matter. Yes, and it comes under which one? Mechanically, organically, or chemically? Ma'am, obviously, organically. Hmm. Organically, exactly. Organically. And uh, sandstone? Sandstone? Wait. Sandstone. Mm -hmm. Sandstone comes Actually, ma'am, the sandstone means from the name we can identify, it is from the sand, right? Yes. Ma'am, the man through centuries is depositing in the lakes, rivers, or the ocean floor. Hmm. Ocean floor. And this comes under the mechanically or physically formed sedimentary rock. Okay? Hmm. Yes. These are the example of mechanically formed sedimentary rock. Now let's come to the characteristics of sedimentary rock. Okay, they yes. are formed in layers of strata and are known as stratified rock. I have told you strata means like layers after layers. One layer it has another layer. Okay. So they are formed layers after layers. I have drawn the, the diagram you have seen. So they are formed in layers of strata and are known as stratified rock. Ripple marks are seen on these rocks. Ripple marks. Ripple means uh, in this um, way. Let me show you. In the desert region, okay, we can mm -hmm. see that like, these type ripples in the sandy soil. Do you recognize it? Soil, this sandy soil, we can see these types of ripples. Can you recognize it? Hmm? It no? is the first layer and the second layer, right? No, I'm I'm not talking about any layers. I have uh, told you about the uh, ripple marks. These ripple marks are seen on these types of rocks. 
Okay, so these are the ripple marks are seen on this sedimentary rock. That's what I'm trying to explain. Yes, ma'am. And does this ripple marks have any type? No, 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 no. These are the simple ripple marks. There's no, there's no any uh, difference or then classification or there's nothing. So ripple marks are seen on these types of rocks. Okay, there is usually a presence of fossils in sedimentary rocks. Okay, yes, fossils is only seen in the sedimentary rock. It's very important line. Okay, fossils means means the, the remains of the dead animals or plants. Yes, yes. So these uh, fossils are uh, seen in the sedimentary rock. There are pores and allow water to pass through them. Actually, it is uh, composed. Of, actually, the first layer is composed of organic materials, so this can be pores. So water can easily fill, uh, infiltrate from the uh, from the soil and go uh, uh, near the ground ground level. As these rocks are soft, they are prone to weathering and erosion. Okay. Weathering means means when actually the weathering means when the condition when the rock forms when the rock mean the breakdown means the means the breaking Breaking. down or dissolving of the rocks on the minerals of earth surface. Yes, and what the uh, and what are the agents who help in breaking down this rock? From water, acid, salt, plants, and yes. changes in temperature, etc., etc. Yes, yes, yes. So all these rocks are soft. Actually, sedimentary rocks are very soft. They are prone to weathering and erosion. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So these are the characteristics yes. of sedimentary rocks. Now let's come to the uses of sedimentary rock. Actually, uses. these yes uses these rocks are very uh, essential for us. How petroleum? I, yes, ma'am. Yes, Mine okay. only one use. Uh, they are rich in alluvial soil. This I know. They are rich in alluvial soil. Means these rocks are elevi- uh, rich in alluvial soil. Yes, ma'am. Means the they are the spores of the alluvial soil. They are the spores. Yes, always. Yes. Um, it will be rich because there it contains um organic debris. That is why these rocks uh are rich in alluvial soil, and it is very much fertile. Okay, so this is the first point that it is very much uh, rich in alluvial soil. This is fertile. Second one is petroleum. Petroleum is very essential for us. So petroleum occurs in the sedimentary rock. Okay, these rocks provide iron ore, phosphates, building stones, and materials for the manufacture of cement. Yeah. Helps in cement construction on con or concrete production, yeah. tunneling, yeah. road construction, manufacturing, architectural monumental stone. Mm-hmm. Yes, very good. These are helpful in this cementation. As I told you when I I was drawing the diagram, I have told you the different processes of sedimentation. Like sedimentation, compaction, cementation, got it? So with this yes. process, we can get this essential thing from the sedimentary rock. 
and these are the very much important uses of sedimentary rock okay okay ma'am now i have given you actually we don't have that much time that that i will uh, um teach you the metamorphic and the rock cycle in the next class okay okay ma'am i now see i have given you some question okay ma'am let me open like define rock yes open yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, yes, yes. yes define rock you have uh, got the answer from this file or from this pdf distinguish between extrusive and intrusive igneous rocks just see this pdf could you able to differentiate between them can you give me some uh, differentiation extrusive and intrusive intrusive yes when intru extrusive rocks are formed on the surface of the earth from lava which is magma that has emerged mm -hmm. from underground on the other side intrusive rocks are formed from magma that cools and solidifies within the crust of the planet as you told in the diagram while explaining mm -hmm. yes so this one the first point and you will uh, give the examples for both okay like basalt of these are the example of extrusive igneous rock and granite gabbro these are the example of intrusive igneous rock okay okay yeah and what you can uh, make some more points like um it takes place outer surface Yes, ma'am. Extrusive, extrusive, and outer, 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 and in this case, it is extrusive in the beneath of the surface. Yes. And one more point is the cooling rate of uh, for a few rocks is so quick. Actually, the cooling rate is high in the <laughs> extrusive igneous rock. Okay, and the cooling rate. is very slow in the intrusive igneous rock why because the interior is very hot okay so these thus you can form different points the more points you will make the more number you will get okay yes sir you can also draw a diagram i have given see the next phase formation of extrusive and intrusive rock okay mm -hmm. if you will yes, add this diagram practice this diagram if you will able to add this item with your question answer you will get more marks because geography means whenever you will write some answer which diagrams it looks very catchy okay Mm, yes, and you will get more more points. Mm. Next question is characteristics of igneous rock. Okay, characteristics yes, of igneous rock. You have got this uh, answer from this uh, PDF. How are igneous rocks formed? But still, ma'am, through your explanation, I will. try to say without seeing it because in the exam they will not give the pdf to write the answer no obviously that is why i have given you the question so that you will able to write the answer from this pdf or with the help of your books whatever you want and yes. these are the probable questions that may come to your exam got it what i am trying to say yes ma'am if you have any query if you have anything you can tell me you can share with me no issue yes ma'am i have no queries ma'am okay. so what are the characteristics of igneous rocks you have got from here 
how are igneous rocks formed it's a very important question how are uh, igneous rocks formed yes ma'am it you ma'am the igneous rocks are formed by melting and cooling of magma oriented uh, sorry magma organized from volcanic eruption these are formed by the cooling and solidification and of magma right mm. yes solidification of magma either within or on the surface of the earth during a volcanic eruption okay uh, uh, magma is a molt molten rock <laughs> found in the interior of the earth so within the earth surface they are known as intrusive or plutonic rocks so main point is these are formed by the cooling and solidification of magma okay either within or on the surface of the earth okay so these are the process of uh, igneous rock formation next one is classify igneous rock you, you will you can write how sedimentary rock form yes extrusive and intrusive and the other one um mam wait means according uh, to their says extrusive and intrusive yes chemical. chemically yes so what are those classification mam means means i'm telling you what are those classification that is formed chemically composition <coughs> ma'am so uh, the chemical chemical composition what is sedimentary yes. rocks are formed by the precipitation of minerals from water sedimentary i'm talking about the igneous rocks yes igneous rocks hmm Igneous acid igneous rocks. Rocks. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, acid. Acid igneous rocks. And the if the acid classification you are asking, they are actually less dense and light in color. They contain a high percentage of silica and lesser percentage of basic oxide. Yes. And basic igneous rocks. Ma'am, they are dense in color and contain uh, dense in color, uh, dense and dark in color. Okay, and mm -hmm. they contain lesser percentages of silicon, high percentage of basic oxide like iron and magnesium, just the opposite of acid. Very good. And does it flow for a long distance? Hmm. Ma'am, base is the if the basic you are asking it. Uh, flows from a long distance before it solid solidifies and as it it flows short distance before it solidifies okay so next one is how are sedimentary rock formed okay how yes, does sir. it form sedimentary when sedimentary rocks are formed by the deposition of sediments from its name we can identify for example grains or particles derived from the igneous metamorphic or other sedimentary rock hmm very good and what is it and uh, what is it favorable area where this sedimentary rock takes place the low lying areas are water bodies on the earth surface like rivers winds and glacier like you are saying low lying areas are water bodies like river and winds means from rivers so you are saying that uh, these are these deposited in low lying areas and water bodies like river you are saying like river but It, these are not rivers. These are the denudation agents. Rivers, glaciers are the denudation agents, right? Okay, okay. So 
so main point is this sedimentary rocks are formed by a deposition of sedimentation grains mm. or particles derived from igneous metamorphic or other sedimentary rock okay and this is very important line that these sedimentary uh, rocks are generally deposited in low lying areas or water bodies okay so are you getting bored no ma'am so if teacher starts asking questions students get bored that is why i'm asking you oh actually ma'am i got cold that's why my face is looking like this oh at the test no no problem next one is what are the characteristics of sedimentary rock without seeing any notes of pdf this tell me ma'am uh, ripple marks are seen on these rocks and they are formed yes. in layers of strata and they are known as stratified rocks and there is usually presence of fossils in the sedimentary rocks that you told while drawing that diagram and there uh, they are mm-hmm. pores and allow water to pass through them okay very good next one what are the uses of sedimentary rock ma'am first main use is petroleum occurs in sedimentary rock and they mm-hmm. are the source of rich alluvial soil alluvial soil and and ma'am these rocks uh, provide iron ore uh, phosphate building stones and materials for the manufacture of cement or concrete or building yeah. the monuments and houses hmm okay classify the sedimentary rocks with exam what are the types of sedimentary rocks mechanically uh, sedimentary uh, mechanically formed sedimentary rock organically mm-hmm. formed sedimentary rock and chemically formed sedimentary rock hmm very good which coal uh, comes under the which formation mechanically I'm organically or i'm organically coal. organically yeah yes yeah. distinguish between acid igneous rock and basic igneous rock acid igneous rocks and basic igneous rocks well, acid igneous rocks have a more silica content and basic igneous rocks have less silica content yes anything anything else Mm, what are about their density? Means density. Are they any one about their density? About their colors? Hmm. Uh, Ma'am, they are less than acid igneous rocks. They are less dense and light in color. And basic igneous rocks, they are dense and dark in colors. Yeah. And when the magma light up. Uh, magma erupt in acid igneous rocks the magma erupt in acid igneous rocks in nature it flows from a short distance and while on the other hand basic igneous rocks is flows from the long distance yes very good next why intrusive igneous rocks are also called plutonic rocks uh why ma'am can you repeat the question please why intrusive igneous rocks are also called plutonic rocks ma'am because plutonic rocks are rocks formed when magma cools and solidifies below the earth surface plutonic rocks are also known as igneous uh, intrusive igneous rocks because they form when the magma squeezes into cracks and crevices uh, as what as, as if it is an intruder which is invading the rock means plutonic rock is similar to intrusive rock okay keep it mind so both are same plutonic and intrusive both are same so when uh, within the earth surface within the earth surface they are known as plutonic or intrusive 
and on that surface they are extrusive so there is no need to explain about the extrusive or well volcanic rock when it is when it is asked to about the plutonic rocks you will write that magma is molten rock found in the interior of the earth so with the earth surface they are known as intrusive when it mo molten down beneath the earth surface it becomes intrusive or plutonic um plutonic rock that is why this igneous rock is called as plutonic rock okay yes ma'am why igneous rock are also called parent rock ma'am igneous rock are also called parent rock because in rock cycle the first rock that is formed is igneous rock igneous rock that is this one you have told this is very much uh, quite uh, right uh, answer they are also called uh, primary rock because as the rock because the other two layers or other two rocks that were that is the that's a sedimentary and metamorphic okay. these two types of rock are formed from that uh, igneous rock okay so first yes, formation sir. is igneous rock okay so igneous is the is one of the oldest rock okay that was formed the first igneous rock was formed and with this help of this igneous rocks or after that the two other rocks that is sediment that are sedimentary and metamorphic are formed from there that is why this uh, igneous rock are also called as primary rock or we can if this question can uh, can be come in like primary why this igneous rock are called as primary rock or parent rock so primary and parent both are same so keep it in mind okay yes sir so these are the different types of questions one more question i would like to ask you could you differentiate between the rocks and minerals i told you about the rock you have no you have got the uh exact uh, meaning of rock because you have known the definition of different types of rock like sedimentary igneous so you have got the idea about the rock and i hope that you know about the minerals okay so could you differentiate between these uh, uh minerals and uh, the rock how many how points ma'am i want to give how many points up to you okay ma'am first of all the basic rocks are aggregates of mineral elements and minerals are naturally occurring solid in uh, organic substance okay. in organic or organic uh, ma'am occurring in solid in organic substance yes that is what i'm asking in organic right exactly minerals are in organic in character then and rocks are heterogeneous in their composition and minerals are homogeneous minerals are homogeneous okay and then the rock means that rock has no definite chemical composition but minerals have do have a definite chemical composition yes very good and and uh, ma'am on the basis of origin the rocks are igneous sedimentary and metamorphic and on the other hand the minerals of the chief minerals groups are silicates carbonates sulfide and metallic minerals hmm and these only i can say you have uh, told all these po uh, points in your book or you have actually no, no actually i my means my unit exam came and the rocks are and rock cycle half of the chapter came so i do oh. have to learn it so you can okay. exactly rocks are solid combination of more than one mineral occurring naturally okay rock hmm. are naturally means rocks the formation by nature okay 
but minerals are solid formation that occurs naturally in the earth but they are inorganic in character okay rock may be organically like sedimentary but minerals are inorganic okay they do yes. not have unique chemical composition or a crystallic structure means rocks don't have any structure crystallic structure you have seen many rocks okay in your daily life or you have seen many rocks in your book or internet they don't have uh, a unique chemical or uh, or crystallic structure but when it comes to the mineral it have a unique chemical composition and also have a crystallic structure okay uh, rocks are classified into two or three primary group the uh, hmm? igneous rocks sedimentary metamorphic uh, group yes so these are the three types of rocks they are classified into three. these are three primary groups of the rock and when minerals are grouped into silicate sulfide carbonate metallic minerals okay rocks are mined to extract minerals this is very important point rocks are mined by we mine rock to extract minerals from there such rocks are called ore like iron ore got it so such type of rock are called ore our uh, minerals have immense commercial value we know it we use we, we know the essential we know that how much these minerals are essential to us they the rocks have uh, contain the rocks contains minerals like magnetite quartz feldspar okay these rocks contain these types of minerals igneous rocks are formed through volcanism i have told you now about the volcanic yes. eruption okay so it uh, so these are formed through volcanism sedimentary rocks are created by deposition okay and metamorphic rocks are formed through transformation like one example is like shell to slag got it yes ma'am shell to slate do you have any question no ma'am so minerals uh, uh no such processes are involved in formation of mineral okay we have seen mm. some uh, processes uh, or some uh, the formation the type of formation in the different types of rock system like igneous rocks we have seen volcanism in sedimentary rock we have seen deposition and in the metamorphic rock we have seen transformation like shell from slate all this okay but yes, in the formation of minerals no such processes are involved in the formation of minerals uh, rocks have tremendous cultural commercial and social significance they are also used to establish the dates of old civilization from the old civilization uh, we are using it okay but minerals have great commercial value but are generally not used to establish the dates of old civilization okay got it as in the rock are related with old civilization because the people in the old civilization uh, they are using rock they extracting minerals from the rock but uh, minerals have their essentiality or commercial value but they are not related or they are not uh, generally not established in the significant depth of the old civilization got it yes ma'am so these are the these are your rocks their classification types and processes okay now do you have any query about the questions about the um topic about the content do you have any problem you can ask no ma'am no problem okay so i cannot 
um, able to fulfill um, means uh, complete the whole chapter due to the time. You know, this is a vast chapter. It will take two to three class or take two class. So you will learn all these classification types, definition. Okay. Ah, uh, sure, man. So, uh, how, uh, how do you like my team style or anything else? Is it okay or, or should I change something? To be honest, ma'am, it's uh, totally perfect. No one is perfect, baby. <laughs> no one is perfect. No, it's perfect for me. This is right that no one is perfect in this world. Everyone has some or some disabilities or something to improve. Yes, exactly. And for me, it's perfect. If you got the idea, if you got the content. Or uh, you've got the total information about him, then that is okay. Okay, then see you in the next class. Bye. Bye. Bye.